sure is. Um, so I brought up in the beginning of the show, hey, if you're just joining us for this segment, usually we splice this part out and talk about WWE TV. I want to know what in the world. Know. I want to know. I want to know what love is. <laughs> oh, see, I, we were on different songs. I was doing, the, I want to know. Oh, have you, have you ever seen? Well. Oh, I thought we're you were going to say, have you ever seen this. the rain? Have you ever seen the rain? Oh, I don't know. I don't know Credence. the lyrics to it, but we're not supposed Credence. to sing in this segment. We get in trouble for me singing, especially people are like, please stop. That's horrifying. <laughs> so back to WWE TV. So what is wrong with the tag division? Why have they ruined tag team wrestling at every level oh. of WWE? Let oh. me first say this. There's going to be some spoilers included in this section. If you haven't watched the most recent NXT, the finals oh. of the Dusty Rhodes tag team classic hitted two teams that were not tag teams against one another you had carmelo and um um uh, big guy what's his name uh i don't want to say don't the wrong. nxt I, I don't, uh, so you have like little guy big guy they're both incredible superstars and okay. then you have Braun breaker and um baron corbin happy corbin on the other team right and they're they're all four solo superstars that have right. very um their career is on the rise. These are not only are they not a tag team, they're not going to be an NXT much longer. Yeah. And that's the finals of the tag team tournament. Interesting. Are you kidding me? Then you have um infinite number of tag teams that are up in the main roster only to have the tag belts unified and then to be placed on the waists of not a tag team, but two solo superstars, Damian Priest and Finn Balor. Well, they kind of became a tag. I mean, who that won I, it. Yeah. They won it when they won it. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, who were not right. a tag team. Right. Who won it from Jay Uso and Cody Rhodes, who are not a tag not team. A tag team. Right. No, I agree with what you. What is wrong with good old fashioned? We've got a gimmick. We wear matching unitards and we wrestle in the same, you know, mindset as if we're <laughs> one body. Right. Tell me yep. about the state of tag team wrestling, Lee. Well, it goes back to another, we don't talk about Bruno situation, a previous booker who ran the company for something like 40 years. I don't know. It's hard to remember. Uh, famously did not like tag team wrestling. In fact, Trick, the Williams. Trick Williams was Carmelo uh, Hayes's partner. And okay. the reason I did not say his name is because it will the a name of an opposing company's <laughs> oh so, uh, same same yeah, yeah I, I was like i think I his drive. name is yeah, so uh, maybe i swerved around the answer there the answer bit, yeah but his one. name is trick williams yeah 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 no nah, no nah. anyway um so yeah that famous uh infamous booker did not like tag team wrestling and the comment that was famously made was why would i pay two people for one match or four people for one match when I could pay two people, like I could pay singles basically. So it was a financial thing. Whatever reason did not like tag what? team wrestling, which is surprising because in the eighties, some yeah. of the best tag team wrestling nineties. Eh, then, I mean, you know, again, like road dog and, and Billy started out as, as separate and then they did become. So, I mean, these, these unions can become, but the reality was road dog and Billy as much as they tried, we're never going to be the top tier single superstars, right? That's right. They were that's right. They were these guys who fit really well as oh man, they are a really, really good tag team. And that I hope will change under the new regimes, but as of yet, it doesn't seem to. For me, the biggest miss is either unify the belts. And I, I mean, make, have and make one, one strap. strap. Yes, one yes. new strap. And Not, they've done that with other titles now. With yeah. the universal t title, only has universal one strap now. Heavyweight WWE Tag Team but, Championship but of the World. Heyman's not bringing out two belts the way right. he used to. It's just yeah, one. It's, it's the, the one new gold belt. One. 
Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, so they need to either unify them or separate them. Like I, I don't mind having two, especially when the, the roster is so deep on tag teams. I mean, they did that fatal four way on, on raw and I was sitting there going, Oh my goodness, I could see any of these guys. Plus we'll get back to Montez and Dawkins, right? The street profits. Like there are a dozen tag teams that right now should be the tag team champions. Like right. Reed in this brothers. Instance. Creed brothers like them. are so stinking talented. They yeah. are in ring, probably the top talent as far as in the tag division. What they can do is so impressive. It is They're true. so strong. They're so agile and fast, and they can yeah. do top rope. I mean, they are aerialist with the yeah. strength of powerhouses. It's crazy. Mm. Uh, they, they don't have they don't really they have are. a gimmick like this would be like in my perfect world like right Kurt Angle would return and this would be Team Angle <laughs> this would be the like, team Green he made oh. would be the Olympic like heroes right. and Ivy Nile would be this I mean just make right. it make her look like one of the uh, American Gladiators you know in the oh, 80s she kind of does and, like, yeah these guys would be so over with yep. what they can do in the ring. Yeah. Yep. I, 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 every time I I'm guessing it's Brutus. I don't know the names really, but the, the bigger guy that when they do their tag team finisher and take him up and he does the cannonball into them, he always lands so wrong on the other person. Like I, I just, he's going to, you're to, right. To end careers with well, that move. And I, I can't stand it. Let's hope, and I let's cannot hope stand not, it. And let's hope that Oof. never, Oof. they're going to speak that it out. into existence. Yeah, That's saying, right. Let's, let's hope that that gets ironed out quickly right. and that I'm sure they were addressing it. But right. again, you've got this but thing of at least the Creed brothers things. wear matching tights and have yeah. one concept. One at least yes. they are a team, right? right. Uh, you have right. an injury, I think, is preventing um, the Viking Raiders from being right. a team. That yeah, makes Eric's sense. Yeah. But you have Alpha Academy, who is a team yeah. with a name and matching gimmick and a concept and yet they don't wrestle as tag competitors Together. you right. see otis taking on other big feats of strength and you see gable right. kind of doing the the uh marathon match and putting on a right. heck of a show and and what and they're a comedy act with tazawa right. and they're like the most talent like they're killing tag team right. wrestling and i and they're i think so they good. know it i think right. they know it um, it doesn't yeah. make sense. And then the street profits are wearing suits and not competing. And they're basically they're what? barely not have shown up. Man. And now suddenly they're, they're face again. Um, oh, they I turn, I mean, like, like, yeah, it's so strange. It's so, yeah. and I don't it understand is. why now some of triple H's guys like DIY is back competing as DIY, Gargano and Ciampa right. are not separate anymore. And I'm in. I like them. But they're not interesting. They don't have a story. They don't right. have a they don't have a concept. Now, at least thankfully, Imperium has a concept and a story right. and an angle they're working from. So you got this thing now where the best in-ring talent is uninteresting mm -hmm. and the uh, the interesting people have no means to actually represent the division in advance right. in it yep agreed for both men and women they need to figure out the tag team and to me the tag team even growing up the intercontinental title and i, I know i'm sorry but the intercontinental title wasn't that big of a deal to me mm. but the tag team belts were like it was you had the main event guy, you had your Hulk Hogan, you had your Nacho Man, you had your, you know, your uh, top tier echelon, Ultimate Warriors and Undertaker, Stone Cold Steve Austin's The Rocks. But then you had the Legion of Doom and yeah. they were, they were or demolition the, or demolition or yeah. even the Bushwhackers, the Rockers, the Heart Foundation. Do you the, remember my, one of well, my favorites was Power and Glory. Power, Power and Glory. Yeah. Hercules. With the, with the Warlord and that yeah. mask he wore. He was terrifying. Yeah, he was. That was uh, war, Warrior. Power and Glory were. Uh, were uh hercules and and um i can't remember the other guy's name put oh, it in the I'll comment section 
But then the the warlord and the barbarian were the ones yeah, you're thinking of. What were they called? Maybe they didn't oh, have a name. Man. I'll look them up. I'll look them up sure. while you keep talking. Sure, sure. And Mr. Fuji was their manager. And managers are another thing, aside from Paul Heyman, that, that they just haven't done well in the last several years. But it just creates variety. And variety is the spice of life. If every match is a singles match, powers eventually of pain. you just run out of They people. were called the powers yeah. of pain. Powers of pain. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Yes, they were so good. The colossal connection, even though Andre was, you know, thrown in there and stuff like that. But again, there were these matchups that just, just worked so well. And it does when it's rare, like it, it felt more rare oh, in the Paul w. Roma was Hercules. Paul partner. Roma. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Romeo. Paul Roma. Romeo Roma. Yeah. Right. 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 Um, but you it was rare that you had like the mega powers coming together was so big because it was rare. Like that didn't happen. Now it's it's almost like, well. Cody, we don't have anything for you right now. So let's see who your tag team partner is going to be. Spin Terrible. the wheel. Oh, Terrible. yeet. Terrible. You know? Hey, um, even the mega powers wore matching tights. Even the <laughs> mega powers. Okay. That's the true. two That's biggest true. egos of all time in the locker right. room were willing to wear matching, <laughs> to have a name, <laughs> to wear matching yep. outfits, and to have a concept. Right? right. And so, like, if those guys can figure right. out how to be a tag team, right? Why the heck can't? And in the women's division is even worse. They'll yeah. just throw two women together that make no zero rhyme sense. or reason. Yeah. Piper Nevin and Chelsea Green. What is that? It was entertaining because of Chelsea. Right. And they knew they needed someone to work the match where Chelsea right. maybe couldn't, but like be a team, man, like have a name, like the right. Iconics were a team, right? Right. To, uh, like the Bella Twins, a team. Right. And they can't seem to figure this out with Tegan Knox and Natalia. What the heck are right. they? Just it's like this weird. Just give them a name. Throw through, you know, make it a salad. Just yeah. throw ingredients in a bowl and shake it up and hope it tastes good. You know, and it's right. like this is crazy. This is right. This is this is the high highest point of wrestling since the Attitude Era. The most yeah. popularity. This is the True. most profitable era in the history, history of the company, and we can't figure out how to how to make. And an entertainer like Chelsea Green, like actually have a partner Team. and a concept that works. So yeah. we need to just put her with the Scottish girl and wear a kilt and like hope people like it. Right. What? And it's not a knock on Piper Niven, but literally they were like, oh, she's awesome. Not do anything right now. Oh, Piper's you, here. tremendous <laughs> in right. ring. But could they not like, like, could they not pair their outfits or something? Right. Give them a name. Yeah. You know? Well, it's like the Alpha Academy. When they first threw that together, that felt like such a hodgepodge, right? But then they started wearing the matching things. And they start, you know, then they they formed and forged this identity. Right. And now, you know, like think back to the Dudleys, the Hardys, and Edge and Christian. Think back to times where the tag teams were defined by these, these forces. And there are so many of those right now. We could have the new golden era of tag team wrestling in That's WWE right. if a few things changed. The tag team wrestling was really, really good when the Usos and the New Day were yeah. at, their, at their height of their, their feud. Peaks, yeah. And they they can easily be there again. This is not, mm -hmm. it, we're not saying that this is so difficult that they're going to have to reconceive what they're doing we're just right, saying, they got the let, pieces. let tag teams do tag team matches and be tag teams because yep. it's really good when they do. It's a right. really, it's a really good product that fans really love. And you'll sell a lot more merchandise and make a lot more money when you do it that way. Yep. Agreed. Agreed. I'm afraid they're going to put Bianca and Jade together and make them a tag team because they don't know what to do with these ladies. Yeah, where's where's Jade? And they deserve the better. They deserve better. Yeah, they deserve better. These are premium entertainers. <sighs> they deserve better.
Espes. And, 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 and so, so like, this is, this is not just that I long for tag team wrestling. It's that I'm also afraid of the people that are right on the cusp of being premier solo uh, acts getting lumped into whatever the heck Indy Hartwell and Miss Gargano are, whatever the heck yeah. that is, the that's way. a career ruiner. You know, they were fine, and they deserve NXT. better. They deserve right. better. They, but oh gosh, rusty, like, rusty. Whatever right. this pixie princess, like they haven't know what Poison to do pixie. with Candace since she got there, right. and she's one of That's the. True. Give her some creative. Send her to the ring with DIY, yeah. please. Retell that story if you yeah. if you need to. I don't know. Something's got to give when it comes to tag teams because I, it's not that I don't care. It's that I care so much and I just think they're consistently blowing it and yep. botching it and ruining yep. it and, and getting it wrong show after show after show. Yep. One of the most fun things you can do is go to a, a house show where two tag teams are working the crowd and you yeah. got like the, the yay and the boo going on right. and on and on. And you got that one guy, you know, standing on the apron and he's just hyping the crowd and getting them going. Like, right. That's so good. It's, right. it's one of the best ways to engage as a fan at the event in a wrestling match is to have right. a crowd coach standing on the apron, working the match, working the crowd is tag. And the yep. only way you can do that is by a tag team. Yep. You, you know, the only other thing I think in all of WWE that would be, that would make me no, more nervous is if, like, say one of the Royal Rumble winners was like, eh, I don't care about winning and going to Mania and finishing stories. And and we'll just let we'll just let archaic people come in and uh, take that main event. And here you just you just do that because I don't matter. I, nobody cares about me. Here Here you go. I think this is a work. I think it's a. <laughs> I think. I think this is. I read something on Reddit this morning that blew my mind, and it said yeah. that they think this is a work to put Cody over even more, and for him to, um, basically for the Rock to start getting heat as the yeah. person who's trying to take that opportunity. And then for Cody to get basically even more beloved on the hero's journey towards finishing the story that this is, this is the rock is being used as an interrupter of the story right. to actually create even more friction so that the road to mania or the road to the title is even more painful for Cody which you will then find even more gratification for when he does, in fact, finish it. What happens to his career when he raises that belt? Do we stop caring? Does, does he is does he just lose all like like how many of Cody's fans are like that was a cool run? Glad you got the yeah. belt. Who's the next big thing? Yeah, you know. But I mean, we can, we've proved with Roman, I mean, granted heel runs do tend to last better this way, but we've proved with Roman, we could have a new Hulkamania era. We could have an era where Cody runs the top scene. And, and again, he doesn't have to have a long title run, give him two, three months, give him till SummerSlam with it. But, but here's the thing for, for me, and I've said it, but I especially felt it like this week watching raw. I had my remote control in my hand, knowing that they, hi there. There's not even a thumb when you did that. That was crazy. I know, it's just this. It's, uh, anyway, uh, don't clip that. So th we had this, uh, I had the remote in my hand while I'm watching Raw, and knowing that Seth and Cody were going to come out and talk to each other, waiting so that the second Cody said, I'm facing you at WrestleMania, I was going to, I was going to turn off raw and not watch it period mm. like be done right. and I mean that's the that's the and which again they've gotten the investment from me they've they've made it so emotional that that's the point I'm at but 
Yeah. I see this is this is Blue Tista 2.0 in the worst. That comparison was actually way. made. That in what I was reading on Reddit this morning about yeah. it being a work, they brought up Did, the people writing the Yes Man. Well, basically saying the people writing this story have a very keen memory of Batista and they and they want to give the audience a taste of that yeah. enough to draw heat and then to take it away and not do it. Right. And I thought that was interesting. That's it really is really interesting. It is interesting. So po possible paths forward. Cody goes up against Seth, gets the world consolation belt, and then they unify. This is the words I've heard. They are thinking about unifying the belts, which again goes from we That's just crazy. created that belt because we need like right. uh, who's next? LA Knight has been standing there busting down the door and we don't have anything for him because the uh, US title. Sure. I, That's I mean, who Knight needs to face at Mania. Ma Mania fine. Knight versus Logan Paul. That'd be fine. Man, those yeah. promos would be smoking hot. <laughs> They'd be so good. Those would be promos good. would be lightning in it. a bottle right I'd love to it. have you know you're out here talking about your youtube and I, yeah i mean it would be so good it would be Dummy. so good so good <laughs> it would be so okay we build that up but again back to seth now that okay and this is out of their control cm punk injury. had an injury maybe okay. even before the injury this 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 is out of their control but You've now created a scenario where if Cody doesn't go after Roman's belt, he is the dumbest baby face they've ever had. And if he goes after Seth's belt, he is the dumbest baby. I mean, again, it's just like, if There's, you want me to believe in Cody, I this is on the line. This today, is me going. Potentially, we will know something I know. today. I know. Today. today. So by the time you've listened to this, you're going, ha, you didn't even know. You dumb schmucks. You didn't even know. Yeah. So like today is the press, the mania press conference where yep. um, maybe it'll be revealed. I doubt it. I, I yeah. can't see them doing that. Um, but also I think they yeah. want to lock in the card for mania to draw interest to mania. I think they want it to for mania. What's that? The poster for mania. We're official yeah. CCs. We're not supposed to say that word. <laughs> No, the the lineup, <laughs> no, the match oh, card. Yeah. I'm joking. Uh, yeah, it's the card yeah. of the night, meaning right. the yes, event the match. plan, the plan of the event. Um, <laughs> I was like, "What is he saying right now?" Sorry, it was um, stupid. I shouldn't have said this it. guy has wrestling uh, experience. He should know. <laughs> um, I think they want to lock in to to make Mania a draw. Like, I don't think yeah. they want it to be a mystery going into mania. Right. I don't, I, I don't think that's a sell, a sell for them. Right. Uh, and I do think they will reveal something big at elimination chamber in Perth regarding the rock mm. regarding me. So I don't think today on the presser, we're going to get clarity for that. Yeah. I don't, I don't think, I don't think that's going to, that problem is going to be yeah. solved today. In fact, I Maybe. think that problem could very much be solved, um, you know, that night at Chamber. But I think, yeah, I, I, I like I, I would not be surprised today if they announced Rollins is too hurt to go, and mm -hmm. and as an executive decision, we are vacating the title, yeah, and then that title we're going to have a King of the Ring style tournament. Leading up to Mania, and its conclusion yeah. will be the main I, event of Luther. WrestleMania, the first night. Yeah. I could, I could totally see it. I could I totally can see, see that today. That happened. I could see that. Or again, so where I almost turned off Raw, where I had my finger on the button to do it, Cody, Cody drew me in. Right, Cody he, he, he got me going. Actually, I think it was Drew. We talked about this uh, via Discord and stuff. Drew McIntyre. I, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to love him or hate him right now because he I said everything, everything I'm thinking. Like he stood in the ring and said the exact words that I wish the bookers of this company were listening to. And right. I was like, this is my guy. Like give Who him the world our heavyweight inner title. monologue, our yeah. inner Scottish monologue. <laughs> Just a little angry and with a brogue, right? <laughs> angry brogue. But, uh, but you're going to so be a disappointment just... to your father. And I was like, 
Oh, oh my that was so gosh. good. Gosh, yeah, Drew, it really was. I mean, a that good... guy is he needs a see, and again, Drew should be on that world heavyweight title. That's the way it should go. But Drew's drawing really if, good heat right now, but I don't if, know that he's good for more than just heat. I don't uh, know that he's good. I don't know. I mean, in 2020, he, he held the belt and and no he, one watched he was and no one banner. cared. That and was no extenuating one... circumstances. No, we had Global. nothing else to do except sit at home and watch wrestling, and we didn't watch it. <laughs> because it was Uncanny Valley crazy stuff. Like, I watched it because it was so empty and it weird without fans. It was horrible. But that's why he, need, like, he needs that story. But if Cody were to say, okay, see, the one line that, that screwed me over with this is when he said, I'm coming after your empire, I'm going to break you down. I'm just not doing it at mania. I was like, Oh, come on. That was the, like Cody said that I was like, you had everything right there. They still could build to this, but if they did night one, Roman loses the title to Cody night two, he loses the head of the table. And now you have this interesting story of broken Roman who goes away, comes back, not the top tier, all conquering hero, but like what they did with Kazuchi Okada years ago, where he won Bless everything. <laughs> wow. Gesundheit. Gesundheit and, says then, <laughs> and then he rose back up to the Rainmaker, right? He he was the top know. guy. He lost everything. I don't follow any of that. had to start from the bottom. So I'll trust you. I'll trust your opinion all right. on, on all, all right. things that happen overseas. I, this is what I want to know, okay? How perfect would it have been? Well, it's like this is my I'm fantasy booking, right? A little bit. I said this. So, like, how perfect would it be if if Triple H on today's Mania presser said, "I don't know what Cody was saying. I did not give him permission to do that." Like, I I as the chief creative officer, the head of this company, he won the Rumble in his match. He pointed. It's set. He pointed not- at Roman. To, to say, like, I don't know what you're trying to pull here, but we got to do what's best for business, right? Yeah. Like, would it, like turn the authority dial on oh. Paul Levesque. Oh. Let's, make, let's make a Hunter versus Cody scenario where suddenly he makes his life really complicated and really difficult and plays that heel role to the hero and starts to say, how dare you try to interrupt my WrestleMania? My story. This is my story. Yeah. I'm the game, and you're not playing by my rules, you know, or whatever. Brother. It, whatever it is, right? Yeah. Whatever it is that he's saying, like, it would actually be really, really good. It would be really good. So. If, he, if he said, I did not authorize Cody to bring out The Rock. Mm. He went over my head to our new board member at TKO. Right. And I'm going to show him what happens when you don't submit to the authority. Like, it would be like, oh, now we got a show. Now we got something worth watching. Give him the old Daniel Bryan, turn the screws on him, you know, like where where he has to overcome this great um, hurdle, you know. Well, let me give you one last reference before we end. What this feels like to me is a long time, like I've I've watched it since the 80s. So the only other time I remember WrestleMania feeling this off was when Hulk Hogan and Ric Flair were poised to go against each other. And then all of a sudden it was like, now nah, we'll just fight Sid Justice. Like Ric Flair versus Macho Man, all time great. Don't get me wrong. That was amazing. But it was literally just, boop, here's the plan. And they just went this way. And to this day, I still think as a kid, like, what would have happened if right. Ric Flair and Hulk Hogan in their peak, in the biggest company yeah. in the world faced each other? And I feel like I have one of those scenarios going on again right now is what what if what if they Sid pooped his pants this one and just go ahead and, you know, an injured Seth Rollins against Cody Rhodes. Drew said everything that I was thinking. You've already beat him three times. Right. Where's the story in that? You're just going to do it right. again. And that's why I don't think we'll get that match. I don't think we'll get that match. Um, but I don't know what the heck match we're going to get. <laughs> like that's I, the booking brilliance. Yeah. Well, uh, this is the biggest WrestleMania potentially of our lifetime since... 
Yeah. Number two, probably. Right? Hogan, uh, I mean, uh, three, three. Three. WrestleMania three. Hogan, Wait, Andre, Hogan seven, Andre. WrestleMania 17. Is what the... was 17? What was that? Is that the it's Houston? The Astrodome? Is that the yeah. Astrodome with uh That Rock was Hogan? TLC two, Rock Austin. Rock Austin. That was, yeah, Rock Hogan was X18. or X, I'm sorry, X8. I don't know. They were doing Xs at that time. But what was X... 14 was the... Was the was the Michaels um, Stone Cold Tyson as the ref? That, that was, was fifteen. I iconic think. match. I yeah. love that. Love that main event. <laughs> um, and I, and well, the reason I mentioned it is because we could be marching towards a Cody versus Roman with the Rock as the special guest referee, and then some insane twist ending that screws Cody over. And now he's joined the bloodline and, you know, you tried to, uh, man, wouldn't that be insane? He rock bottoms while wearing a ref uh, outfit. Rock bottoms, Cody. I mean, I could yeah. see them doing something like that. I mean, yeah. And, but then do we wait another, and it's not a round number WrestleMania. It's WrestleMania 41. Cody finally finished the story. All right. I well, know. I know. I don't know. Well, let's wrap it up for today. All right. Thanks for being a part of the WWE Champions Chat Podcast. Be sure to check us out on YouTube. And by the way, we are now streaming live on Twitch on the official WWE Champions uh, channel on Twitch on Fridays. So come follow us there. Uh, if you don't play this game, you've been watching the wrestling part, you don't know about the game. WWE Champions, better than 2K24. I said it. And let's have fun being a community together because this thing, it gets us, right? It gets into our souls. I'll see you next time. Bye. I don't know what that was.